Today's episode of the More You Know podcast is brought to you by CrowdQuestion, a brand new social communication platform focused on connecting crowds to bring everyone closer to their community, as well as enhancing any occasion. Rather than being a social media platform focused on content and advertising, they're focused on communication and connection. Learn more about the platform and download the app free at crowdquestion.com. trying to make it all make sense the more you know podcast today i want to read the dalai lama's thoughts on empathy that are shared in the book the art of happiness by the dalai lama and howard cutler in the book howard cutler asked the dalai lama about his thoughts on compassion and empathy which i'm about to read Now, in looking at the various means of developing compassion, I think that empathy is an important factor, the ability to appreciate another's suffering. In fact, traditionally, one of the Buddhist techniques for enhancing compassion involves imagining a situation where there is a sentient being suffering. For instance, like a sheep about to be slaughtered by the butcher, and then try to imagine the suffering that the sheep may be going through, and so on. The Dalai Lama then pauses for a moment, and then comments, It occurs to me that if we are dealing with someone who is very cold and indifferent, then this kind of technique may not be very effective. It would be as if you were to ask the butcher to do this visualization. The butcher is so hardened, so used to the whole thing, that it wouldn't have any impact. So for example, it'd be very difficult to explain and utilize that technique for some Westerners who are accustomed to hunting and fishing for fun, as a form of recreation. In that case, it might not be an effective technique to ask a hunter to imagine the suffering of his prey, but you might be able to awaken feelings of compassion by beginning with having him visualize his favorite hunting dog caught in a trap and squealing in pain. I think that depending on the circumstances one might modify that technique. For instance, the person may not have a strong feeling of empathy towards animals, but at least may have some empathy towards a close family member or friend. In that case, the person could visualize a situation where the beloved person is suffering, or going through a tragic situation, and then imagine how they would respond to that, react to that. So one can attempt to increase compassion by trying to empathize with another's feeling or experience. I think that empathy is important not only as a means of enhancing compassion, but I think that generally speaking, when dealing with others on any level, if you're having some difficulties, it's extremely helpful to be able to try to put yourself in the other person's place and see how you would react to the situation. Even if you have no common experience with the other person or have a very different lifestyle, you can try to do this through imagination. You may need to be slightly creative. The technique involves the capacity to temporarily suspend insisting on your own viewpoint, but rather to look from the other person's perspective, to imagine what would be the situation if you were in their shoes, how would you deal with this. This helps you develop an awareness and respect for another's feelings, which is an important factor in reducing conflicts and problems with other people. To wrap up the discussion, Howard asked, Do you have any other words of advice or methods that you use to help establish empathy with others? The Dalai Lama, with gentle simplicity, then answered, Whenever I meet people, I always approach them from the standpoint of the most basic things we have in common. We each have a physical structure, a mind, emotions. We are all born in the same way and we all die. All of us want happiness and do not want to suffer. Looking at others from this standpoint, rather than emphasizing secondary differences such as the fact that I am Tibetan, or a different color, religion, or cultural background, allows me to have a feeling that I'm meeting someone just the same as me. I find that relating to others on that level makes it much easier to exchange and communicate with one another. Compassion and empathy are very important skills to gain. They assist with happiness, joy, fulfillment, your pursuits, your relationships, and much more. Without compassion and empathy, it will be difficult to connect with others and understand them, which will make it difficult to accomplish things, both in your personal life and with your pursuits. So with this being said, they're obviously crucial, and if you're somebody who wants to make a tremendous impact in this world and craft a life of significance, you must be compassionate and empathetic. trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast.